Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest UEFN Fortnite 0.1 creative tutorial video that will introduce you into the end game device. Now, in this video, we're going to use Fortnite Creative 1.0, we're not going to go into UEFN, but the basic functionality remains the same and this is an important element of understanding any kind of Fortnite Creative on or UEFN experience being that the end game device does just that, it ends the game. So let's check it out and see how we can use it in the simplest, most straightforward terms so you can get a better initial understanding of this device. Of course we'll go into our menu and we're going to go into the devices. We're going to search for end game device. And here it is, as you can see, it is a device that ends the round or game when activated and we're going to equip it and place it now first thing you need to understand the end game device is visible in the game so you can't hide it instead you have to learn how to basically set it up in a way where players won't find it even though they cannot interact with it but now that we have it let's customize it with an e and see the options that are present. As you can see, for some reason, at least in Fortnite 0.1, you cannot hide the same device, but you can do a lot of stuff with it. Now in the advanced options, you have things like what to end, winning team, call out, defeat, end game, which are more to the complex side of the end game device. However, here is the bread and butter of the same device, which is your basic option of having the ability to activate by a team and set the activating team to whatever you have previously selected. But we're going to go for functions and events. To do that, we're going to set up a simpler trigger and let's say that we're building a Fortnite creative game where you have to get to a location A. Let's call it like that. And once you do, you win the game. So it can be a race, it can be some kind of an exploration game, it can be anything in that domain. But for starts, let's do the same through a trigger. Now we're going to find a trigger and we're going to use a device called a trigger. And here it is. So let's place it now and we're going to place it here. Now a trigger basically gets an information from let's say a player crossing it and sends that information somewhere else. Now we're going to connect the trigger to the end game device. To do that we're going to enter the trigger, it's trigger 2 and say on triggered event send an event to device. Here is the end game device and function activate. Now, in theory, this would be enough for the endgame advice to activate, but experience shows that it's better to do the same thing for, again, endgame device and go for enable. So we're both activating and enabling the same device. Now, with this setup, we're just going to check, even though their connection should be immediately presented. Here it is, functions are there with the trigger number two. Once I'm spawned in the game, once I reach the trigger, once I step on it, which you can't actually test in the present level, we should get the end game callout and the round should end with victory, in theory. Now let's check it out and try it out in the actual game and we're going to start it and see if the end game device is working. Right now we can see both the trigger and the end game device, here it is end game device is in the grass around here and the trigger is here so let's see if I can connect these two it's starting it's sending the signal and here's the victory callout you win and that's basically it a really simple setup a really easy setup there's a lot more things you can do more device you can connect more let's say conditional elements or functions that you can all pull into the end game device and of course like in previous video showed you can end device the games your fortnite creative games without the end game device through the island settings 
but this is a really effective way how you can start playing around with the endgame device and your different functionalities in the game and what actually constitutes a win condition or a lose condition in your Fortnite experience. Like I said, the same goes for UEFN and Fortnite 0.1. So there you have it, hopefully you found this video useful, if you did, please consider subscribing, please share this video with anyone who might find it useful, leave a like, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, there is a bunch of ways how you can support me, you can become my patron, you can send me money directly, you can buy my books on Amazon, but again, the simplest, easiest, most effective way is to just subscribe and be here for my new videos. Until then, my name is Ivica, have loads of fun in your Fortnite creative and UEFN experiences, and I'll see you in precisely who knows how many days from now, but on my new video. Until then, bye bye.